Okay. So... Do we have to talk to Martin again? I have everything in place for the ritual. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I, I guess... I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for paradise. Just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. <coughs> Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? That sounds almost backwards. You need to go to paradise and murder someone so that we can take away paradise from everybody. <laughs> Alright, yeah. The only thing I remember... Well, I remember a lot of things, to be fair. I played this game quite extensively. But the one of the biggest things I remember is that paradise is... Maybe, if I can remember correctly, the second to last, if not the third to last quest in the entire game. So we are almost done with this game. It's pretty insane. So yes, open the portal to paradise. Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Will do, Mr. Martin Septum. <clears throat> I want to see this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. He, this guy, Belastrius or whatever his name is, he's so unfazed at the fact that this Daedric portal just appeared before his eyes. And he's like, good morning, sir. Like if it was nothing. <laughs> but I gotta say, that animation, the sound, obviously the audio was not so great if I'm completely honest. But I don't blame the game. The game is really old. It was very limited by tech back in the day. But I will say, the visuals were fantastic. Portal to Paradise. Will I be going to God Mode? Let's find out. I have arrived in Cameron's Paradise. The portal closed behind me. I must uh, find Mancar Cameron. Uh, Cameron. Uh, kill him and recover the Amulet of Kings. Maybe I should have this ready. Enemy! <laughs> so, Is that... It is, it's a frost astronaut. I didn't think you could take me unawares in the paradise Ow. that I created. Look now on my paradise. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go to god mode again. A vision of the past and the future. <clears throat> Ow! Ow! Not gonna happen. You know what's funny about this? I could quite literally just lower the difficulty. Or just get better weapons and armor. But if I'm being completely honest, I don't really care about any of that. I'm here for the story. I've played this game a million times in the past before. So I legitimately don't care uh, about going to god mode. I'm here just for the story. So if you guys get mad about that... Sorry, but not sorry type of situation. You know what I mean? Love you guys. For all of you guys who support me and understand, thank you. But I'm playing this for the story. I don't... I'm not a big advocate of going into, like, god mode and stuff like that, but... Okay, goodbye! <clears throat> See you later, alligator. The secret energies of the human body have not surrendered uh, their mysteries easily to you. You are now an apprentice of restoration can, and can and can cast apprentice level restoration skills. I still need to remember to get a better restoration thing. Behold the savage god, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Korak Agaya, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you. So, <clears throat> Savage Garden. Isn't that an old band? 
I don't know why I'm asking that. I know it's an old band. Because back when I was married, that was actually... They sang one of my wedding songs, oddly enough. That song, Truly Madly Deeply. I like that song, actually. I'm a rocker, but that's a good song. Truly Madly Deeply. If you guys remember that song, if you're as old as I am, or if you heard that song, period, let me know what you guys think of it. I, I rather enjoyed that song back in the day when it originally came out, and I still do, even though it has less meaning now. Alright, what's up, buddy? Can't kill me, bruh. Can't kill me, bruh. Silly little frost atronach, you. Blade in increase, skill increase. I cannot talk for the life of me. So I apologize. Period. Or should I say exclamation mark? I don't know. <clears throat> so am I just supposed to follow the yellow brick road? Oh god, we're in a... Oh, hello, Mr. Daydraw. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, is he trying to fight me here? Got him! What happens if I just hold... Power attack? Okay, whatever. It's not that serious. Let's go. I'll you! Dunzo. Ooh, Bands of the Chosen. Whoops, that's a unique, isn't it? I took the bands of the chosen from a Daedra named Kalakaju. Oh, he's a named guy. I didn't even know. Perhaps they provide the means to help me escape from the Savage Garden and reach Mankar Cameron. Oh, it's probably it's it's a part of the uh the story. Okay, that's good enough. So how little you understand. You cannot stop. The Principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Hold up. Time out. Dramora Longsword. This is what it's normally called. This is a unique weapon too. Fire damage one point for 15 seconds on strike. So is that one point per 15 seconds? Because if that's the case, it does 15 more damage. Over it doesn't say <clears throat> it's not very specific, but I'm assuming it's one point per second for 15 seconds. If that's the case, that's 15 extra damage on top of the 12, so that's 27. Uh 27 damage versus a normal one that only does 12 because it's got no unique ability. So this is actually not a bad weapon. It's Could it potentially better than mine? Because naturally it already does. Okay. I totally forgot I'm a vampire. I need to go get that fixed. And the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia. Periite's quagmire. The ten moon shadows of Mephala and... And Dawn's beauty. The princedom of Lorcon. Misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. If you say so, Mr. Cameron. Cameron Diaz? Mr. Cameron Diaz? Okay, sure, why not? Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion. Long Hold up, time out. Nightmare and free us all from the Savage Garden? Yes. Tell me about this place. Everyone here died in the Master's service. As the <clears throat> Master promised, we are now immortal, like the Daedra. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the garden torment us endlessly. When they kill us, we are soon reborn and the cycle begins again. Ah, that sucks. No one has yet found a way to leave the garden, except those few given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to enter the Forbidden Grotto. Got it. And that's what I picked up from that named, uh, Daedra. What is the bands of the Chosen? Only those <clears throat> wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the grotto ever returns. Well, tell me about the Forbidden Grotto, then. The only way out of the Savage Garden. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen may enter the Forbidden Grotto. 
but they never return, so we don't know what fate awaits them. Got it. Thank you. Leave me in peace. Shut up. I kind of regret talking to him, cause it kind of cut off. Never mind. There he goes. Is that all you gotta say? You. How can you be here? No matter. You are too late to stop Lord Dagon's victory. Soon we will return to Tamriel to rule over it as lords. While you will remain here in the Eternal Garden forever. Do I know this guy? He sounded like he knew me. He said, you, you can't be here. Okay, whatever. Bands of the Chosen. Those favored by the master to where the bands may enter the Forbidden Grotto and leave this savage garden forever. Forbidden Grotto. Tell me about that place. The Forbidden Grotto is the only way out of the savage garden. Those who earn the master's favor are given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to leave the garden. Savage Garden. We have all died in the master's service. Here in Gairalata, we are immortal <clears throat> and wait to return to Tamriel after Lord Dagon's final victory. Fun fact that ain't gonna happen. Sorry, bud. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stonda are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction. The gods you worship are <clears throat> trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamria, the realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus, you remember tales of Lorcan vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamriel. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth, Tamriel I Daedroth. This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, <coughs> so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. Well, that's interesting. Okay, she, I couldn't even talk to her anyways. This beast killed the other dude. Which makes sense, because that's what he said, that they... Where did he go? Oh, uh, he probably got resurrected. Yeah, because they said that the Daedra basically torment them endlessly, and then out of nowhere, once they die, they get resurrected and it starts all over again. That sounds like a horrible fate, to be honest. Oh, look, it's the Daedroth. They look like crocodiles. Will you relax? Your heavy armor skill increase, you should be... Okay, whatever. I could level up. This is a battle for the ages, even though I'm technically immortal. They draw teeth. No, thank you. I'm sure there's some fun, cool crafting thing I could do with that, but I'm not really a crafter, so. The door is smooth and featureless without any apparent means of opening it. Luckily, we already know the answer to that. What is this anyways? Bands? Is this arms? It is. 
The bands glow red uh, briefly as they lock around your wrists. Does that mean I can't take them off? The bands emit a red glow at the door. Oh, and the door opens. Voila! That's why it's important to talk to people. I have entered the forgotten, uh, the forgotten grotto. Now to find my way through uh, the ter uh, the terrace of the dawn, where I hope to find Mancar Cameron and the Amulet of Kings. Not gonna lie, I kind of want an IRL Amulet of Kings. I've always thought the Amulet of Kings looks dope. What's up, buddy? Where'd you go? There you go. You cannot win there, buddy. Just don't follow the lava. I want to loot you. Come here, loser. No, come here. Braided leather sandals. Okay, yeah. This guy has nothing special. You can fall into the lava now there, buddy. What do you have? Potion of Charisma. Sure, why not? And I'll definitely take that potion of healing because... You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? First of all, half ace. My business is my own. Stand aside. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna tell him straight up. I'm here to kill your master, Mancar Cameron. Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Oh, he wants me to do it. Can you defeat Mancar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Who are you? I was one of Mancar Cameron's <laughs> chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. <clears throat> I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mancar Cameron was our leader, our teacher. Our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mayroon's Dagon as an equal. Why would you, of all people, be helping me? I was at the sack of Kvach. I love sacks. We had no chance. We took them by surprise. <laughs> and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway. Desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after <coughs> the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. Wow. Mancar Cameron's kind of a dick. How can you help me? No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Fine, I'll play along. Good. Follow me and don't worry. You can trust me. I'm going to test something out. Here in a second. Is that him? Let's go ahead and quick save. <laughs> I want to test something. I want to see what happens. Oh, he's helping me. He won't die because he's a Daedra. Oh no! <laughs> See, I knew it. I needed it. Okay. So, reload. 
I'm gonna do that again. Actually, no, I'm not. What's going on? Who's this? A prisoner sent in by. Show me some respect, worm. Say that again. You went to end up in the cages with them. He may be a dick, but he's my friend. Henry, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Cathartet for questioning. I was about to begin. This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is he? Nothing escaped your vigilance, Kin Reed. Cathartet wondered as well. This is why he sent him for questioning. Well, carry on. Of course, Kin Reed. Prisoner, into the cage now. I kind of want to kill him. <laughs> There we go. I prefer to kill him. It was more fun that way. Eh, nah. Hey, what's up, buddy? Did I do good? Let's get into the next grotto. I'm sure we can find a quiet place to remove the bands there. Tell me about the bands of the Chosen. Those bracers you're wearing. That's what we put on the prisoners here. It prevents them from escaping and makes them easy to control. Makes sense. Get them off you, <clears throat> but I'll need some time. Tell me about Mankar Cameron. Mankar Cameron lives in his palace, Karak Agayalor, which overlooks the Savage Garden from the top of the mountain. He never comes here. He stays in Karak Agayalor with Ruma and Raven. But these caves eventually lead to the Terrace of Dawn in front of his palace. Okay, sounds good. Let's go get these bands off. No farewell, homeboy. Uh-oh. What's up, buddy? I just don't want to accidentally kill the other guy. Am I doing good there, buddy? I hope I am. Daedra Longsword, no thank you. He still got high health, dude. We're doing good. He is actually pretty powerful. With his lightning attacks. I'm more powerful though. Haha! Yeah. -ha. All that and he literally has a dagger. This dude's OP, man. Let me walk ahead. <clears throat> Straight? Alright buddy, come on. Wait, didn't we pass through here already? Let's go, Daedroth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're gonna have to go one-on-one -on -one against him, buddy. Oh. I don't know who the good guy is. Uh. My friend died. Maybe I did this the hard way. He must have not been essential to the story because normally if someone's essential to the story, it literally gets a pop-up. I don't care. He deserved it anyways for all the crap he did anyways. Can I let this guy go? I don't think so. He didn't have anything on him, right? No, nothing besides the Mythic Dawn stuff. No, thank you. The bands emit a red glow and the old door opens. Got it. Tracking. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I... You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. So, at first I was super confused at why he's here. And then I remembered the very obvious thing that's been the theme of this location, that you die and come back, basically, and continue to get tortured. So the fact that he's back here obviously makes sense. 
And that's why the little pop-up didn't happen. But that's, that kind of creeped me out for a second. I was like, wait a minute. What? You know? But, okay, whatever. Sure. I'll need you. I'll be glad to get your help. I am no match for Mancar Cameron. But perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. <clears throat> I mean, I don't need your help. At all, actually. I can kick his ass by myself. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of <laughs> You are the last defender of the deck of the past. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn. Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of I tire of the self styled heroes who set themselves in my Oh god, they're- <laughs> he fell in the lava. <laughs> so much for the help there, bud. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. The other one, the other uh Clanifer, Clan of Fear fell in the lava too, right? They literally all fell in the lava. Let me see if I can get him in the lava too. Oh, they're on the lava. <laughs> okay, he disappeared. Does that mean he's here again? That sounds weird, man. The torturing? I'm assuming he's gonna pop up at some point and assist me. Probably when I go through a door or something. What's up, Daedroth? Long time no see. Oh, well, there he is. Get him in the lava. This ends. It <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that was epic. He deserves the torture. I love it. He's he's a moron. That explains why he's following these idiots anyways. Hey, what's up? Ooh. Hold on, I want a better look at him. Come on, come, come into the light, buddy. I want to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you, but I want to look at you. Oh my god, bro. He looks so cool. Yeah, he looks dope. He kind of reminds me of the... 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 Uh... Lor Lokohan... I forgot what they're called. The vampires from Skyrim? Volkahar? The Volkahar vampires? I think that's what their names are. Strong potion of separation, drain magicka, sure. Yeah, I think they're called Volkahar vampires. But he kind of he kind of looks like the the morph, I guess you can say. Hey, long time no see. How was the the nice little swim? Did you have fun? Nice. Saw you taking a little dip right there with the uh, Daedroth. It's kind of cute, actually. Come on, man. Follow me. Hurry up. Keep up. No more swimming in lava. Do you understand me, Ed? Eld... Eld... You? E? I'm gonna call you E. Oh my god. Climbing these stairs gives me a headache. I'm assuming it's this way. Is this your defense? You did not expect to see me again, did you? I don't even know who you are. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalon. I don't remember her. Can someone spark my memory? Because I swear I don't. You know what? <laughs> I 
I don't care. Staff of Lightning, sure. Four gold, sure. I love that. I don't care. She doesn't deserve to live. Not that she can die anyways, but... I have waited a long time. <laughs> I don't care. That was funny. I found Mancar Cameron in his palace of Karnak... Uh, CA. Now I must kill him and take the Amulet of Kings back to Tamriel. I want his armor. That armor looks... Dope. He's not even protecting himself. Did he just... Yeah, okay, he's dead. Time out! Mancar Cameron's staff. Oh, yes, amulet of... I'm taking everything. Is he dead forever? Sorry, Edamil. Not really, but... Goodbye. Uh... What just happened? I killed Mankar Cameron. Upon his death, the paradise he had created dissolved around me. And I found myself back at the Cloud Ruler Temple with the Amulet of Kings in my hand. I must give the amulet to Martin. Can I keep it? Do homage to Martin's champion. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. <gasps> Does this mean Mankar Cameron? Is officially dead. No thing. No need to thank me, sire. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the amulet of kings. Hmm. Here it is. This belongs to you. Belongs to me. The <coughs> amulet of kings. So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true, if the emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood. Can wear the amulet of kings. Put it on, Your Majesty. <clears throat> yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny, and no man can deny his destiny. Agreed. <clears throat> oh, you look wonderful. Can I have it? You see, you are Uriel's son. Why ever doubt yourself? You look like him too. You need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me back in Kavach. You've been questioning it this whole time for nothing, then. ...to talk of becoming emperor. And quite another to actually be the emperor. That's fair. But you are the emperor now, sire. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Meirun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Ricardo. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Oh, snap. Why meet Okato? Chancellor Okato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. There's no way they're going to recover that fast. Also, that was cool. And you look fantastic, Martin. You look fantastic. First of all, I kind of want to see the uh, the armor I just picked up. Uh, spell absorption, 17 points on self. Reflect damage, 9% on self. <clears throat> that was cool. I got a ton of good stuff, man. I really like this sword. Okay, let's go to the Imperial City. Get out of my way. 